But on a whim, decided to just sort of visit a franchising conference in Las Vegas and everything changed. You know, did all the normal things you do, went to the seminars, heard the keynotes, went to the round tables. All of that was okay. Um, but it was a chance encounter um, at a table outside of one of our sessions. I had walked outside to just check my email and um, across the table from me was this was this older guy. And uh, he started asking all these questions. It was kind of intrusive. And I was like, man, she just get off my back, you know, but I'm from the South. So I just was real nice. And so I answered all the questions, kind of bragged yeah. a little bit. Like, hey, I got 12 locations and all this other good stuff. And being a good Southerner, I had to return the favor. And so I said, well, what do you do? Um, and he said, well, I'm Fred DeLuca. I own Subway. We have 42,000 global locations. And so, <laughs> you know, immediately got my you know interest peaked and started just asking him question after question. He spent the rest of the afternoon with me one-on-one -on -one at that table. And wow. I learned in that four hours more about franchising than I could have ever learned in any of the roundtables and so on. And that was a while ago. What was the most impactful lesson Fred taught you about franchising? That's such a good question because you won't believe. So we we had multiple meetings after that. Um, the biggest thing that he talked to me about was when you start growing this brand, right now the brand you have has a very strong bottom line. It just makes a killing, you know, 25, 30% margins. Um and that's great. That's why people are going to want to be a part of this. But over time, franchisees are going to come to you with ideas and, new, and um, opportunities to improve things. And so we did a lot of things manually, quite frankly, like we, we used our hands a lot. And so we pushed a lot of buttons instead of automating buttons. And that's harder and not easy, but it was also profitable. So what he said, and this was something that he used from his time at the subway, that as these franchisees bring these ideas to you to make their life easier as an owner, uh, understand that that comes at a cost and every little 0.1% that you pull from the bottom line is going to add up. And what you're going to potentially see is 10 years from now, you've made the life of every franchisee owner easier, but the bottom line is not nearly as strong. And so he lived that life at Subway. At one point in those early days, Subway was just killing it, double digit multiples, which is unheard of in food service. And so um, that was his biggest takeaway. I mean, there was a bunch of other things he talked to me about, but he, he said, just, just have your eyes open to every idea that a franchisee is going to bring to you is very good. But usually it's not how to make more money. It's how to make life easier.